हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम चेतन पगार आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन द ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ सब्जेक्ट ट्रैफिक इंजीनियरिंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट यूनिट ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट दैट इज फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ ट्रैफिक इंजीनियरिंग सी फ्रेंड्स व्हाट आई डिड हियर दिस चैप्टर इज बिग दैट्स व्हाई आई हैव स्प्लिटेड दिस लेक्चर इनटू टू पार्ट्स सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर और दिस यूनिट सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद दिस यूनिट व्हाट वी विल डू वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द यूनिट आउटकम्स what exactly it means unit outcome means these are the things which you can guys can able to perform you guys can able to do after learning this particular lecture or after the completion of this lecture so let's discuss about this unit outcomes what is the first outcome you can able to do that you can able to describe the road users characteristics of road users that is the first thing you can do second thing what you can do you can describe the vehicular characteristics third thing which you can do that is you can calculate the reaction time of a driver and fourth thing which you can do after the learning of this part first chapter that is you can able to explain the factors affecting the reaction time okay so these are the outcomes or these are the things which you are going to able to do after the learning of this first unit of this chapter that is the fundamentals of traffic engineering so let's start with this chapter or this unit so these are the contents of this unit today we are going to discuss about these uh, topics in that first we are going to discuss about the traffic engineering what exactly means traffic engineering what is the object what are the objects what is the scope of this chapter and what is the scope of this particular subject that we are going to discuss afterwards we are going to discuss about the road user characteristics then we are going to discuss about the vehicular characteristics so let's see one by one so before starting with this traffic engineering first we must know what is meant by transportation system see guys whenever we are talking about the transportation system transportation transportation system means what it is the system which helps or enables to move the people from one place to another place or it is the system which can help to move the, uh, the goods from one place to another place that is nothing but your transportation system and what is meant by trans uh, what are the modes of transportation system first very easy that is what the land transportation second mode of transportation is air transportation and third mode of transportation is water transportation so these are the basic three modes of transportation system okay so this is what the transportation system and these are the modes of transportation system now let's talk about the traffic engineering what is meant by traffic engineering so traffic engineering is the branch of engineering which deals with the planning and geometric design of streets or highways listen very carefully guys traffic engineering means what it is the branch of engineering which deals with the planning and geometric design of streets or highway and why we are uh, dealing with the planning and geometric of de geometric design of streets or highways to achieve safe economical convenient and efficient management in transportation of persons or goods okay so that is what the traffic engineering in very simple sense if you want to discuss about the traffic engineering then traffic engineering is the branch of engineering which deals with the planning and geometric design of streets or highway okay now what are the objectives you know very well whenever we are doing any kind of thing or whenever we wants to do any kind of thing then in that case what we are doing we are keeping some objective in our mind and to achieve those objectives only we are doing the particular thing or we are executing the particular thing so when you are we are talking about the traffic engineering so we must know the objectives of traffic engineering why we are dealing with the traffic engineering first first objective is what to achieve the efficient flow of traffic second to achieve the free and rapid flow of traffic third to reduce the road accidents see what we discuss about traffic engineering traffic engineering is the branch of engineering which deals with planning and geometric design of streets or highways if you do the planning and geometric design of streets and highway in a good manner in a perfect manner then you can achieve the efficient flow of traffic you can achieve the free and rapid flow of traffic and definitely you can reduce the road accidents okay so that is what your uh, first three objectives of traffic engineering now let's talk about the fourth object to provide the comfort to the road user while driving the vehicle 
means whenever you are driving driving the vehicle on the roads then you must feel the comfort now you will say how we can uh, talk about the comfort yes we can talk about the comfort see let's take a simple example if you are driving your vehicle on the visual village road that comfort you just compare with the driving the vehicle on express way then the comfort level of driving the vehicle on village road and comfort level of driving the vehicle on express way or on the highway or on the street or on the state highways then that comfort level is completely different because the planning and design of village road is different and the planning and design of express roads express highways national highways and state highways that is different so what is the objective we just wants to provide the comfort to the road users while driving the vehicle next is what to achieve the economy that is very important guys whatever the things you are doing you must do all the things in a economical manner so when your traffic flow becomes efficient it becomes free and rapid if it becomes uh, it having a very low number of accidents and it provides a comfort to the road users then ultimately these things are going to affect on the economy of transportation okay so whether that transportation is of persons or that may be of goods okay so that is what the fifth objective of traffic engineering that is a achieving the economy in transportation system and last one is to make the traffic flow environmental compatible okay if your roads planning and design is in good manner is in proper way then ultimately that that is going to affect the traffic flow and that traffic flow will affect the environmental compatibility understood so these are the objectives of traffic engineering now let's moving next so these are what the road users characteristics see guys whenever you are talking about the traffic engineering and fundamentals of traffic engineering in that you must learn about the road users characteristics because whatever the traffic engineering you are going to do that you are going to particularly do for the road users and for the vehicles because on those roads on those streets vehicles are going to move the persons are not going to resident over there the persons are going to drive their vehicle on the roads so which are the two things or which are the two commodities or which are the two uh, we can say the things which going to help uh, which going to use the roads person and vehicle so person is what that is the road user that is nothing but you and me so we are the road users so when you are talking about the road users characteristics you are talking about the human behavior human characteristics and these road users characteristics are converted or what we can say not converted it is categorized into two sections permanent road user characteristics and temporary road user characteristics now permanent means what these are the characteristics of human being in a permanent manner that are not going to change for a over a long period of time or for the entire life of that particular road users so that are the permanent road user characteristics and temporary is no you know very well it is having the temporary effect so when you are talking about the permanent road user characteristics then in that case you are talking about the physical road user characteristics psychological road user characteristics mental road user characteristics you when you are talking about the physical road user characteristics means you are talking about the physical capability of the human beings or the physical capability of the person who is going to drive the vehicle now when you are talking about the physical capability then which capability you must know first vision second hearing fourth third strength and fourth one reaction time vision means what this particular road user should have should have the good vision capability he can able to see the things on a long distance which are on a long distance he can able to hear all the noise or all the small 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 things he should have the good strength means physical capability overall physical capability overall physical strength should be good and reaction time means whatever the action is going to happen for that particular action how it reacts how much time it takes to react means its brain quality or what we can say its uh, 
reaction time we we are going to check that are what the physical characteristics that's why only while issuing the driving license to the particular person the rto authority are checking their vision capability their hearing capability and then that reaction time capability that's why they are asking about to read the things which are at a long distance and they are asking about the they are just keeping some situation in front of you and they are asking about your reaction how you will react okay that things they are asking that is why what why they are asking all those things that rt authority why asking about all those things because just to check your physical capability now let's talk about the psychological capability attentiveness fear anger attitude and responding time these are what the psychological things fear means what at the time of driving vehicle you should not get scared about the situation whatever the situation happens over there you should not get angry sometimes we just get angry yes we are you are just uh, driving your vehicle and some of uh, any vehicle just uh, overtaking your vehicle at a very rapid speed and in that case in that case two things are happen first you get scared oh my god how much speed that vehicle is having the first thing you are saying and second thing you just get angry what the hell is happening here so that is what the psychological thing fear and anger that you should know about your road user characteristics then mental mental capability or mental characteristics which comes in under this category is knowledge of road user skill of road user intelligence and experience of road user that are what the mental capability or mental characteristics of the road users now let's talk about the temporary characteristics temporary characteristics means what these are the characteristics which are having the temporary effect and when we are talking about the temporary characteristics first we are talking about the alcohol and drug now alcohol and drug these are not the characteristics because of the alcohol and drug consumption in the body of human being it affects the brain it affects the all the mental physical and psychological characteristics of a road user and that are of uh, uh, that is having some temporary time okay so these are comes under the temporary effect or uh, temporary characteristics of road users then you can talk about the illness fatigue or anger so these are the road users characteristics permanent and temporary okay and why you should know all this because you are dealing with the traffic engineering and while planning the roads while planning the streets you must know the characteristics of the road users because roads are the thing which you are going to plan and design for whom you are going to plan the design planning uh, you are going to do the planning and design of roads for the road users for the human beings so for those which you are going to produce or which you are going to manufacture which you are going to planning and design you should know the characteristics of that particular thing so here that particular thing is your road users okay so now next moving towards the vehicular characteristics when you are talking about the vehicular characteristics that vehicular characteristics are categorized into two types static and dynamic static you know steady so under the static head the dimensions of vehicle weight of vehicle maximum turning angle of vehicle height of driver seat height of headlight clearance between the chassis front and back chassis or whatever the chassis they have provided in the vehicle those uh, center to center distance between those chassis you must know now why you require all those dimension all those things because see guys as per the weight as per the dimension of that vehicles only you are going to plan the width of road you are going to plan the Uh, turning a curve of a uh, radius of a curve or radius of a turn which you are going to provide for the road alignment that you can plan and when you are talking about the design then when you are going to design the pavement thickness of that particular road then in that case you must need the weight of vehicle understood that's why this thing you you require so these are the vehicular characteristics static vehicular characteristics let's talk about the dynamics when you are talking about the dynamic vehicular characteristics uh, the speed acceleration braking and engine engine horsepower engine power these are the things which comes under the dynamic vehicular characteristics okay so today what we learn we learn about transportation system modes of transportation system traffic engineering means what 
what are the objectives of traffic engineering road user characteristics and vehicle characteristics this thing which we learn today now whatever the remaining things are there that i have covered in the second part of this chapter or second part of this unit so what i will recommend ki after the completion of this first lecture you please go and watch the second lecture also thank you so much